Hey guys, Video Fletcher, and wow, um, don't know, fancy doing one of these. Play smarter. Now, what was I up to? Was it like episode 53 or something? And it was like the best series on YouTube, hands down. Everyone loved it. We all know you loved it. Don't lie to me. And it was basically teaching you how to get good at Gears of War. Now, what I find really interesting is it applies to any single game. Any single game you want to play, you can get better at. So this is just a replay, just so there's some gameplay in the background. If you know what StarCraft is, that's great. Um, if if you're not too sure with, you know, what exactly is going on, just listen to the voice. So right now we're just playing StarCraft, like I say, so if you're not into it, that's fine. So a lot of people, I think the main problem with trying to get good at a game is raging. Everybody rages, whether you're the most calm person in the world, you'll have rage inside, you'll have you'll have something that you find annoying that annoys you, whether it be, you know, it can be literally anything. It could just be that for some reason today you're in a bad mood, you've come online, you're in a bad mood and someone's done a style that usually never, never has ever irritated you and today you've just flipped and you've got annoyed. There isn't, there's no, there's nothing that comes good out of raging. Trust me, as a, as a rager at times, like, you never get anything out of raging. So you've got to figure out, and my frames are dropping for some reason, because I think my hard drive's fucked or something. And um, nothing ever comes good of raging. So you've got to find something productive to do in that moment of rage. It's okay to rage and be annoyed, but what do you do with it? Um, so... Think of it as maths, okay? Some of you might be really good at maths, some of you might be terrible. Um, you might not know, you know, whatever. You might be okay at maths, like I say, you might not be good. But, you're not going to get good at maths by getting annoyed at a problem you can't do. And then just going, this problem's stupid, this problem's stupid, I give up, this problem's stupid. You wouldn't do that, would you? If you're in class, your teacher would give you a couple of options, and the same options apply to games. You can either take a break away from the problem and say oh you know I, I, I'm, I can't do it right now my head's not something's not clicking right with me but I know I'll be able to solve it in 10 minutes time in five minutes time so I'll take a little break the same applies to games literally there's no point if you're pissed off at say it could be applied to any game like I say you play Call of Duty you've been camped you play um, you play League of Legends you've been ganked 25 times you play StarCraft, you've been cheesed. You play Battlefield, people are nade spamming. Like, there's no good if you're currently pissed off at the situation, just blaming all the problems and saying it's stupid, it's stupid. You've got to do something a little bit more productive than just rage. So, the best thing that I find to do, like I say, is do something productive with it. So, the games that I play, StarCraft and League of Legends, I'm very lucky they have a replay system. Right now, I can look at a win or a loss, and I can go back and I can say, you know what? Is it the guy was cheating? I can understand if he was legitimately hacking and cheating, that's why he got annoyed. Um, but if he's just performed a strategy and beat you, you can't really get that mad at it. If you feel it's imbalanced, then, you know, you can either attempt to play to your absolute limits, and if you're playing at the absolute limits and it's still beating you, then you either, the person is flat out better than you, or is imbalanced. I couldn't understand that. But if you just... If you're just raging and just saying something's imbalanced like with no actual proof, it's really, really stupid to um, really, really stupid to do that. There's nothing productive going to come out of it. So, for example, I really struggle playing versus Terran and Protoss. Protoss not so much, but they can get a bit death bally and a bit stompy. Now, I have seen thousands and thousands of StarCraft games where Protoss have this death ball. And a professional Zerg player manages to beat them versus a professional Protoss player. So I know that if I can improve myself and play at my limits, it is beatable. What personally frustrates me about it isn't that I can't beat it, it's that it requires a low amount of effort to do, whereas on my end it takes a big amount of effort to try and beat. So the, the Protoss player can play quite poorly and simply kill me because all his units attack for him and if I miss a few spells or I, you know, I do something a bit wrong, I miss micro and throw away 10 roaches, I can insta lose the game. And that's frustrating, but at least the frustration is on my part. You know, I can correct that next time, I won't throw, throw away my units, I'll practice it. You know, there's a, c a couple of things, like I say, that can relate to real life. So, 
You either relentlessly bash your head against a wall with a maths problem or a, or a league problem or whatever game you're playing and you say, I can't do it, I can't beat it, and that's it. Or you keep practicing and practicing because I'm pretty sure if you said to your maths teacher, I can't do, I can't do whatever, you know, a certain, I can't do this maths problem, I can't do blah, 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 I don't understand algebra, I just don't get it. Now, would your maths teacher say, okay, you can't do algebra, that's fine, we'll never do algebra again. No, we'd say, well, have you actually practiced it? You have to practice problems, and although it's going to suck because you're not going to know how to do it, you're not going to know how to beat the problem, whatever current problem you're having in your game, be it, I can't beat this camper, you can either, like I say, you attempt to get better than that strategy through your own annoyance, you're going to get annoyed at it. If, if I try to play versus Protoss, and try to play in a style that beats Protoss. When I mess up, I get pissed off because that guy that I'm playing against isn't trying to improve. That's what you've got to realise. The people you're playing, most of them aren't actually trying to improve. They're merely obstacles. So, let's say, I can't think of a problem. Let's say Call of Duty, okay, a guy's camping A. All he ever does is camp A bomb site the entire time. All he ever does is camp A bomb site and boom. He kills you and he ranks up a hell of a lot and he gets a lot of kills by killing people that can't kill him in time from that X bomb site that he's at or whatever the problem is you're doing. So yeah you're right he'll get a lot a lot of kills and he'll do well and he'll win matches by doing a certain strategy and it's going to beat you and it's going to be annoying but you know don't let it get to you think of him as a problem that you've got to learn to beat. He will never get any better if all he ever does, if the problem is that somebody's camping you and that's all he ever does, if that's the problem, then don't worry because that's all he's ever going to do and he's never going to improve himself and eventually when you learn to beat that strategy, you'll be better than him and you'll beat him every single time. So don't just go, oh he's, he's camping and it's, and it's bullshit and that's it, I'm not playing it and leave. Learn to beat him, give it a go. You're going to have games where you rush that bomb site and try to like play him or you go and you try to micro infestors versus colossus or whatever and you throw away your entire army and you go for fuck's sake I lost that because I'm trying to play well and he's just doing a dumb strategy and it's beating me that's the frustrating part is dumb strategies that beat you whilst you're trying to improve yourself but don't get so annoyed about it just be glad that you're trying to improve yourself for example in League of Legends I used to get really pissed off that people fed and I'd try to I, well, I, I would, and I'd flame them, and I'd say like, "Oh, you know, I can't beat this. I can't beat this fed guy because some noob in mid lanes fed them." Well, don't think about it like that. Just carry on with your own game. Just go. Oh well, I'll improve my AD carry skills. I'll I'll try to do the best I can. And if you're playing at your absolute limits, and there is nothing you can do, then you can just go. Oh well, there was there was nothing I can do that game. That that was out of my control. But if something's in your control, don't rage at it. If you're getting ganked in League of Legends and you can actually stop it through warding properly or playing a bit safer, then either, again, like I say, practice against it. You're just going to have to put a lot of hours in. You don't magically get good at a game. You practice, and then you practice beating a certain style with a new style that you've come across, and you have to refine that style, and you have to get better with that style. And you'll lose to it. You'll lose doing that new style 20 times in a row, and you'll be really angry. But just think to yourself... Well, you know what, I'm I'm actually trying to improve here, and I'm trying to get better at the game, so eventually once I've got this new style down, I'll I'll destroy him every single time and it'll be great. And don't don't worry about if if you know you you're struggling to beat a strategy, just just think to yourself, oh well, I'm trying to get better and that guy isn't. Because all the problems come from when people rage. That's all it is, is I, I used to get it, you tunnel vision, I I'd be like, Oh this guy's fed in mid lane, what's the point of me? I would say, what's the point of me trying to play my role properly when somebody feeds? Well, because eventually you'll get that game where somebody doesn't feed, and you can carry, and you can do well. Like, that's the point. There's, there's literally no point going, oh, somebody's fed, it's pointless. Because you just sound dumb, you sound childish. Um, just, just deal with it, like. <laughs> there's, there's no problem to losing at a game. There's a problem if you're losing that game and not trying to improve and you're playing really dumb and then you're raging. But you, you can't rage if you're trying to improve because you can work on something every single game. Just find something to work on. Oh, I'm playing Battlefield and I missed a load of snipe shots. Well, just, just practice hitting your shots better. 
There's nothing. There's nothing to it. You just need to pick pick something to practice, and then and then go ahead and try and execute it. And you'll lose a lot of games doing it. So, for example, in Gears, I couldn't no scope people. I spent an entire day. I'm talking about an actual no scope with an aim. And all I'd do was no scope. And there'd be times where I'd be like, well, oh damn, if I scoped him, I would have killed him. But it wouldn't annoy me because I'd be like, oh well, I'm practicing something. So what if he killed me? Once I've got really good at no scoping, and it sounds dumb, but you know, this is what you do when you're like 14. You're like, yeah, I'll be able to do it every single time, it'll be great. Like this game, for example, I usually used to lose to Archons and DTs, but just keep calm, keep making drones, macro up, and you'll just beat him. That's how it goes. You don't need to get worried about it or get annoyed that you, you're dying or you're doing shit. There's no problem with doing shit at a game, just practice something. You cannot rage if you're practicing at something, trust me. And if you are raging, just go back and just go oh, look at a replay or look at some gameplay and just say, well, oh, you don't even have to have replay for yourself, just go on YouTube. Say you're finding a matchup difficult, Fizz versus. Fizz versus Mordekaiser or something you find him really difficult or I find pushing bomb site B on this map difficult just google it somebody will have some tips for you and then just practice it like it's so simple like this guy he cheesed me 10, 10 months ago I would have absolutely raged and be like oh my god DT didn't have a lair I just kept making drones and drones and eventually I just had such a good economy that he couldn't kill me like look at him coming out with 10 DTs it doesn't matter that he kills all these roaches I just run away. I'm a base ahead of him. So I've got the massive lead. I can take a fourth base. I can get ultras. Just don't get annoyed. Just be like, oh well. You know, he's he's tried the DT strategy and I'm going to practice against it. It's really simple. Just find something every game to practice. Pick, pick a strategy. Pick a tactic that you're struggling with and practice against it. You'll have days where you lose every single game and you'll be like, this is because I'm practicing a new strategy and he isn't, he's doing the same dumb shit and I'm losing. We'll just go, he's like an obstacle. He's the guy that, he's the guy that does that every game and he's the obstacle and learn to beat him. Like, that's what you've got to do. Is he, is he camping that hallway every single game? Don't rage at him for camping the hallway, just go, okay. His playstyle is camp that hallway. What can I do to beat him? That's what you've got to do. You are going to rage, you are going to get annoyed, but... Like, it's pointless just blaming people and arguing, because people play a lot better as well when you're not raging at your team. Just focus on your own game. Unless your own game is absolutely spot on and perfect, then maybe you can moan at your team. But if you're getting ganked or you're doing something a bit crap and you can you can improve yourself, don't bother having a go at somebody else, because they might that game they might have decided, oh, I'm going to practice ward in this game, or I'm going to practice this. And they're not worried. You just pick one thing as well. Don't try to correct your whole game. If you're losing for multiple reasons, just pick one thing to focus on. And then once you've got that perfect, um, then you can move on. So, for example, if you're practicing macro win, don't worry if you have a really bad attack. Don't like if you're practicing shooting on battlefield. Don't worry if you if you're switching guns incorrectly or you're having a really bad attack. Just think, oh well, I'm not practicing that today. I'm practicing this. So it doesn't matter if I've got that part bad because I'm not even practicing it. Once I've dealt, like once I've got good at macroing, then I can work on it attacking. But there's no point getting annoyed that I can't attack, I can't macro, because you'll just end up getting annoyed at everything and nothing will get solved. So keep calm and practice.